evening yo so how do you get rid of the dead leg feelings if you ever been running a lot of mileage like what I did last week 190 uh, co coming back to this week coming into this week Monday Tuesday Wednesday really feeling terrible legs just feeling really I don't know dead lead like jello actually more like jello jello like I can move them I can run my seven minute pace easy but they're just jello. So how do you get rid of that jello feeling after you did a 190 mile week with a 26 mile tempo run and a Sunday tempo run and a, <laughs> a small, uh, you know, such, uh, tempo on how do you, three workouts, one, you know, a lot of slow, long threshold stuff or just mileage. Well, get the legs moving, get some strides in. So last night was a Thursday night and I put in, um, 4x400, four 4x200, four and I said anywhere from 5k pace to mile pace. So I did them in 64, 65, 64, 64, you know, in that range. And then the 200s, with jog rest, of course, you did, did them right in 30, you know? Just, you know, nothing crazy. It doesn't have to be an all sprint, but you woke up those muscles. Because the reason why your legs are feeling dead, you may feel, feel like overtraining. It's just you worked a certain system so much, you know, the endurance system, that your legs... Are feeling flat and just today and last night just getting the turnover like you know I, my legs were dead so I couldn't run that fast because they were in fact really fatigued so, so but learning to sprint or run fast on tired legs is actually what's gonna you know get you ready for the marathon because you're going to be running hard on tired legs right so speed is very important you know if you're doing a lot of big long runs tempos long runs on hills you're gonna feel flat and you got to wake those legs up you got to do you know a vo2 max workout you know 10 by 600 uh 5 by 800 you know three to four miles worth or just something you know repetitions almost full recovery so there's two minutes rest between those 400 jog rest so it's one minute on two minutes off you know as opposed to two minutes on one minute off that's more for endurance that's more for your 10k speed or whatever but you got to you got to get them the speed in so hard reps, big recovery. And then you do um, strides. Today uh, was my double. I went for a nice morning run. I uh, did 14 miles. I did, um, you know, started slow and ended at 610. You know, it was a little small progression, but in the easy pace, easy range. You know, for you guys, you know, I say start at 830 and at seven minutes for the last mile or so. And then you'll have, uh, you know, a good progression with that. This afternoon run, you know, I started at seven something. Most of mine was like mid six minute pace. I did some hills even, and you know, I hit like 550 at the end, or you know, it was you know, I averaged six in the sixes today, just a harder, faster run, just to get the legs a little bit woken up a little more, and then finished with two or three hard strides on the track, 100 meter full out sprint, you know, full out, just get them going. Tomorrow's gonna be easy day. Sunday I have, I'm gonna do a little 5k race just for a little tempo. Maybe win some prize money, uh, you know, and that'll be kind of like, you know, we run that at your 15K pace, half marathon pace, 10K pace, um, and then do a fart lake after that. So that's going to be the workout on Sunday. So you get the legs moving. Next week, it's going to be a 15 mile marathon pace. So now back to the big stuff, and hopefully my legs will be feeling fresh. fresh. So for you guys, ever, ever think you're feeling dead legs, you think you're overtrained, you might not. You may be overtrained in one system or you tra really trained hard. I don't like the word overtraining, but you trained really hard in one system. Now just switch it up, have a, a shorter workout, short and fast, and I guarantee you, your legs will snap back just like that. And, you know, have a rest day too. That could always help. So never stop running, always inspiring. El Coyote Loco, right from my car, after practice. Workout, four by 400, four by 200, 64s for the quarters, 30s for the twos. I feel like total, Crap today, but I think the music just lightened it up. My legs are feeling like jello, and I just could not move them. But I got out to the track and I just did what I had to do. Grand rolls in, and the ghost gets come out. This is freaking weird. Whoa! Oh my god! Asachandaro, let's end the